All right, so let's move away from the dreary now on the efficient example. Now I want to talk about the effective example. Let's take, for instance, U2's Bono and his charity movement, One. His movement, he doesn't ask for money. He asks for something much bigger, in his opinion, than money. Something more powerful than money. He asks for people's voices to combat the AIDS epidemic globally. He convinces people that their words are more powerful than money. If it were money he was campaigning for, he'd probably lose a lot of his momentum, a lot of his following, because not many people can give a lot of money. But the one thing that people can give, that he tries to encourage them to give, is their voice. He empowers people. He empowers people to believe that their voices are bigger than money. They're, they're more powerful than money. A lot of people don't have that income to, to provide that disposable income f that they can give money for. And again, the voice that he asks people to give is more powerful. He reaches out to people and he gets their voice. He gets them to talk. He gets them to open up. He gets people convinced that their voices can affect change in their own countries through their elected officials. And you know what? It's quite frankly brilliant. I liken it to a snowball on the top of a mountain. You know, you have this snowball, you're nurturing it in your hands right here. Not very much when you look at it at the very top of the mountain. But, as it slowly rolls downhill, it gains mass and momentum. Until it reaches such an enormous mass that it grows into an avalanche. All the while, it maintains this core, this snowball core, and keeps it together, keeps it centered. Bono is that snowball that gathers up the world's voices until they coalesce into this global avalanche of change, the change that this movement needs. All it takes is one person as he convinces people. The issue he's taken on is, it seems overwhelming when you look at it as one person. But when one person can take their perception of reality as it is, and express that vision to a mass of others who share the same vision, then that task which once presented itself as overwhelmingly huge and almost impossible, well, now it becomes reasonable and possible. It's somewhat like a perfect storm of leadership, from the idea of personal mastery to a mass of people who have similar ideas and share an environment that's fertile for something special to happen. Without any one of these, this perfect storm, it doesn't develop. Now let me just touch on the idea of personal mastery because I think it's really especially important. I think it's core, I think it's the core of what comprises effective leadership. Personal mastery is a journey that starts even before one realizes it. You begin it, begin it at a very early age. I mean, I don't think we can put a date or a time on it, but I think when you reflect back on a person-by-person -person basis, as you reflect back, you can look back to that epiphany and realize that's when my journey started. The decisions that we're making at such an early age, well, these decisions are molding the cast that we will ultimately emerge from. Effective leaders have a vision that's more of a calling which beckons from within themselves. There's a desire to achieve something larger than themselves physically, emotionally, and uh, spiritually. Effective leaders understand the journey of personal mastery and that it's ongoing that it's probably likely a lifelong journey. Embracing this never-ending journey of personal mastery and continually improving oneself and balancing reality with one's vision, well, it's how effective leaders connect with others. So, 
When it comes to leadership, you have to sit down and ask yourself a simple question. Do you want to be an efficient leader? Or do you want to be an effective leader? Are you content with the status quo and keep the wheels of the machine oiled and moving so that they're making the bottom line? So that that machine's working in perfect order or somewhat perfect order? Or are you a change agent who has an inner desire to motivate people and to be part of something bigger than themselves? So remember, there are leaders and there are those who lead. Take a risk, evolve with your personal mastery, and emerge as the effective leader we all need you to be. Thank you very much.